you for what you did to me. So what to? What? One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Audio sounds one. One, two, mic check one. One, two. Hallelujah. Mic check one, two. Mic check one. One, two. Good morning, brothers and sisters. It is a good time to be in the house of the Lord another Sunday. We could have chosen to stay home in our beds or do otherwise, but we've seen the need to be in the house of the Lord. And with everything that is happening in, this, in the world today, it is indeed a good place to be. As we start this morning proceedings with the singing of some worship choruses, I invite you to stand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord this morning? Praise the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord this morning? Praise the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Song says, I will bless thee, O Lord. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. Hallelujah. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With a heart, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless, I will bless thee, O Lord. Say, I will bless.
with the heart of thanksgiving. Say, I will bless. in him. I will bless you, Lord. I will bless you, Lord. I will bless you, Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. Magnify him. He's worthy this morning. Our God is worthy. Our God is worthy. Yes, we say with a heart of thanksgiving for all the things you have done with a heart of thanksgiving we celebrate your lordship this morning with a heart of thanksgiving I will bless, I will bless I bless thee oh lord Hallelujah. Glory be to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb be blessing and glory and honor, power, praise and dominion because you are worthy sovereign Lord of all the earth this morning. Hallelujah. We have come with a heart of thanksgiving. And we say to you this morning, Father, we will bless you. Despite of our conditions today, you are still worthy to be praised. Is he worthy this morning, church? Is the Lord our God we serve worthy of glory and honor and power, praise and dominion? Clap your hands, all ye people, and shout aloud unto the God of our salvation. For he has been more than our keeper. He has been more than our strength. He has been more than just a, a provider. He's God all by himself. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me all my days and all my days. I've been held in your hand from the moment that I will until I lay, until I lay my head, I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord, I love you, Lord, for your mercy, say, for your mercy never fail on my days and all my days.
So, so good And with every breath that I am able I will sing Of the goodness Can we declare all my life You stood with me in the storms. You lift me up with every breath that I, I am able. I will say of the goodness of God. Oh, I will say. The goodness of God. We sing of your goodness and we tell of your mercy. Your goodness is running, you're running after me. You relentlessly pursue us, Lord. You relentlessly pursue us, Lord. So we thank you this morning for grace and for your mercy. They are new every morning. 
great songwriter says great 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 if you haven't experienced him you won't know what the great is the great faithfulness of a mighty one the great faithfulness of a loving father of the goodness of God We will sing this morning. We will sing this morning of your faithfulness. Of your faithfulness. Has he been faithful to you? We lift our hands and we declare your faithful Jesus. You are faithful to keep you are faithful to provide. You are faithful to heal. You are faithful to deliver. You are faithful this morning. Holy Ghost, you are faithful. You are faithful. And so we thank you this morning. We thank you because we understand the things that you uh, have saved us from. Uh, we thank you for the things that you brought us through. Uh, we thank you, the Lord. Uh, we thank you this morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow turning with thee. Thou changes not thy compassions, they fail not as the has been thou forever. Great is thy faithfulness. We say, Great is thy faith. Morning by morning, morning by morning, new mercies I see. stars, sun, moon, and the stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, Declare it great is morning, morning by morning, to mercies I all I all I I all I have that endure it. thine own day presence to cheer and to guide strength for today and bright hopes for tomorrow blessings 
so much with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, we say, Great is thy morning, 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 morning. New mercies. transgression pardon for my sin and a peace that endureth thine own deep presence you cheer Lord and you guide you all strength for today and bright Hope for tomorrow. Blessings all mine with ten thousand beasides. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. And morning. for the faithfulness of our God this morning. Clap your hands for the faithfulness of our God this morning. Oh. You are faithful and every praise belongs to you. You have been faithful and you continue to prove yourself as the only faithful one to us. So we thrust you and we thank you because every praise is to our God this morning. Could we put our hands together and celebrate the Lord this morning? He's God, my Savior, God, my healer, God, my deliverer. That is who he is this morning. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together? Hallelujah. Every word of worship, every Say it. 
healer, God my deliverer, everybody say yes he is, yes he is, God my Savior, God my Savior, God my healer, God my deliverer. Hallelujah. Somebody does worship God today. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Every praise is to our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing good have I done to deserve God's own son. We are not worthy. Oh, Jesus, not worthy at all. Oh, God. Oh, God, as I come to you today, God, and as you bring today's service to you today. I pray that you will also bless us in a very special way, dear mighty God. Bless the one who is leading the service today. Bless almighty God, the musicians, oh Jesus. Bless the one, oh God, who shall bring the word today to your people. May it be a word, almighty God, of healing, deliverance, almighty God, and of wisdom. Almighty God, I pray that God, that you just put your man servant right now, Almighty God. Put him, God, right now, God, at the foot of the cross, oh Jesus, and bless him, God, anoint him afresh once more, dear mighty God. In times like this, oh God, we need a savior. In times like this, oh God, we need a word, Almighty God. And I pray that you will just bless each and every one of us. Remember those who are coming, mighty God. Bless them. Touch them, oh mighty God. Remember the, the ushers, oh God, as they take up the offering today, Jesus. I pray that you will just anoint them, God, afresh, oh God. And as your people give, oh mighty God, to you, dear God, that they will be a blessing, oh mighty God. Restore, oh God, back upon them, oh God. I pray that you will just bless each and every one of us, oh God. Bless the praise team, oh God. Bless Pastor God and his family and his wife, oh God. Cover us, almighty God. Cover them in a very special way. Father God. They're human, God, just like all of us. They're our leaders, almighty God. But I pray that you will just bless them in a very special way. Cover them, oh God. Those who are sick today, God, touch their body, touch their mind, heart, body, and soul right now, Jesus. People are being troubled, God, in their spirit, almighty God, for all different kind of reasons, almighty God. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, we put them before you today, God. Give people peace, almighty God, in their mind. Give people peace in their families. Oh, God, give, give people peace, oh, God, in their workplace, almighty God, as they travel, God. Oh, Jesus, so many times, God, we come across so many different things, God, in our day-to-day -day living. But give us comfort, almighty God. Give us peace. Give us deliverance. Bless, keep, and guide, and protect each and every one of us. In Jesus' holy precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Amen. The NYI would like to welcome you to this Another Youth Sunday. We are happy to see you all in the house of the Lord, and we hope that you will be blessed. We would like to specially welcome Cleon Cadogan, who is worshiping with us today as our worship leader. Right now, we'll be having a messaging song from Sister Antoine while the offering will be collected. Good morning. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles, if you've been hearing the same old voice and the same old lies, if you're trying to feel the same old hold inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. If you got faith, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. For the light of day in the dead of night We both found ourselves worn out from the same old fight We both run to things we know just staying right And there's a better life There's a better life From the same old fight, we've all run to things we know just ain't right. Oh, and there's a better life. There's a better life. If you got faith, he's a pain taker. Chain, chain. 
chain breaker. Amen. I will now ask Sister Carlet if she will now bless the morning's offering. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks this morning for life. Lord God, we thank you, God, for provision. Lord God, I pray that you will continue, God, to make way. You are the chain maker. You are the chain breaker. You are the way maker. And so, Lord, I pray, oh God, that you will continue to provide for us. I pray, oh God, that you will bless and multiply the offering, oh God, and it will be used for the benefit of your kingdom. Father God, I thank you once more. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 We will now be moving into the scripture reading, which will be done by Brother Tyrone Thompson. Good morning, church. The scripture reading is taken from Proverbs 4, verses 25 to 27. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Here in the short portion of God's good word, we honor by saying, thanks be to God. The praise team will now lead us into a moment of praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Say, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Oh, I want to see you. I to see you. I am Shining, pour out your power as we sing, holy, 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 to see you high, high and lovely, holy. I want to see you. Open the eyes, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the I want to see you. I want to see you. Say, open, I say, open the eyes of my heart. Oh, 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 open the eyes of my heart. Oh, 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 I want to see you. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see you. To see you high, to see you high. Our King, 
Mighty is our Lord. He is the ruler of everything. Mighty is our God. Say, mighty is our King. Mighty is the Lord. Mighty is our Lord. He is the ruler of everything. Say, mighty is our God. Mighty is our God. Mighty is our King. Mighty is the Lord, mighty is the oh Lord, he's a ruler. Mighty is our God, mighty is our God. Mighty is our King, yeah. Mighty is the oh Lord, he's a ruler. Mighty is he, mighty is our God. Ruler of everything, ruler of everything. He's mighty this morning. He is the ruler of everything. We will now have the introduction of the speaker by Sister Kadian, the NYI president after which the NYI occurs will minister in song, and afterwards the voice you will hear is that of today's speaker. Good morning, everyone. Mine is a privilege today of introducing our speaker for today. He is a father of three. He is a grandfather. He is a husband. He is a man of God, a preacher, a teacher, a counselor, a leader. He is your shepherd, Reverend Lionel Brown. Before I leave, I get permission. Um, Friday coming, we are inviting everyone out to our NYI. We, the council, made a decision to move the day from Friday back to Thursday. So starting the 25th of this month, We'll be starting it on Thursday evening. On the 25th, we'll be having some guests coming in and we'll be talking about your health and education as well. So we are asking everyone, please, to come out, um, support us, and as we have our guests as well. Please, on the 25th, please, so mark the date all right thank you hallelujah blood in the trenches pain of the heart Miles and conflict keep us apart, but grace is sufficient to pardon your past. Too much to live for, your soul can't be lost. So we've got.
come too far to turn back now. It's not that life isn't hard. It's not that there are not Christ struggles in the Christian life. But with God, we are certain we can make it. And when we talk about come too far to turn back now, it is not a casual statement that we are making. You remember what Jesus said to Peter? Peter, what you're saying with your mouth is true. But situation will face you. And you will have to decide what direction you take. The devil is after us to take us or to sift us as wheat. But the good news I have for us, as we say, is that Jesus said he prayed for Peter and he's praying for us. And that is what lends strength to us as we struggle as we seek and endeavor to live our Christian life. May I invite you to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 4. And I want you to keep your Bibles open. Proverbs chapter 4. Marking your trail. Stay on solid ground. Did you hear that? Marking your trail. Stay on what? Solid ground. It is important for us to have a little background of this scripture. As a matter of fact, the book of Proverbs. Let us pray. Our God, without you and without the leading of your Holy Spirit, without a special anointing, you have given me that in closet, but I need it more now. For I am here on your behalf as guided by the Holy Spirit, to tell some truth to my congregation and especially to our young people. I want you, God, to direct the truth that is to be told and help me to be very open as I share truth from your word. Lord, Reveal in a very special way whatever you know your people would need to hear in order that they may strengthen in their faith, in order that they may mark their trail and stay on solid ground. Lift out of this passage of scripture, this Lord God theme today. Allow God that you will reveal yourself in a very powerful way. Thank you for the service so far. And now, Lord, let your spirit take command. In Jesus' name, amen. Knowledge is good. Look at chapter 4 and look. I'm not going to take time now to read the chapter. But note how many times. And in a sentence or in a clause. That Solomon, the writer, referred to knowledge. Knowledge and wisdom. And I say, knowledge is good. But a vast difference between, between knowledge and wisdom. 
Having knowledge means that we have the facts. Knowledge provides us with the facts. But wisdom teach us or help us to apply those facts that we have. You can have knowledge, but you may not be able to apply the knowledge unless wisdom is given to you, unless you have the wisdom. Did you know that? There are many people that amass knowledge. Solomon amassed knowledge. Paul the speaker of 14 different languages, a mass knowledge. And you can name others who amass knowledge. But in order to apply knowledge to life, people and they have taught us and is still teaching us through the word that wisdom is of necessity. Without wisdom, our knowledge is useless. And I'm going to say it again. You may be able to refute it. Without wisdom, our knowledge is useless because you need to apply what you learn and what you think you know. You need to apply the facts. That is knowledge. But wisdom helps us to apply what we know. We must learn how to live out what we know. Simple that. And wisdom help us to do that. Now the wise man, Solomon, the wisest, I should say, man that ever lived, Solomon, left us with what I call a legacy of written wisdom in three volumes. One, Proverbs. Two, Ecclesiastes. And three, Songs of Solomon. In these books, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he gives practical insight and guidelines for life. And I want you to read it. In his young days, when he seemed to pursue the riches and the woman and all that you can think about in his young days, go back to the book of Solomon. Almost every man that is courted or think he is in love and woman too. Generally, they pick up a sentence, a verse, a clause, a phrase, or something from the book of Solomon. He was good. And speaking in those days. But then he grew older. And uh, you know in Ecclesiastes, that he began to review life. He saw the good. He saw the bad. He saw the pitfalls of life. He realized that going after the things that he continued to pursue was not gaining him anything. Because the truth is that he had everything, but he was feeling lonely. He was feeling helpless. He, there was a vacuum. There was a cry in his heart for something more. It was then he came to the conclusion. He said vanity of vanities. In other words, I have everything that can make life exciting. I have women, 700 plus 300. I have servants. I have my material position. 
the things I amass in life. When the queen of Sheba came to visit Solomon and saw the glorious Solomon, she has came. My eyes, my ears have heard of thee. But now I come to see what I have only heard of. Then Proverbs is written in his older years when he became more sober and he spoke to his children, all of his children. In the first of these three volumes, Solomon passes on his practical advice in the form of Proverbs. And Proverbs is a short, concise sentence that conveys moral to life, moral truth. The book of Proverbs is a collection of these, what I call wise statements. And we are in the book of Proverbs. The main theme of Proverbs, as I learn, we might expect is the nature of true wisdom. Solomon writes in Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Who despise wisdom? Oh, Lord, have mercy, you're not here. Who despise wisdom? In other words, the fool has knowledge. They are full of knowledge. Oh, I am not saying anything about those who go to higher learning. As a matter of fact, if I say anything to you today, remember, I am encouraging all you young people not to stay at primary and secondary standard. I want you to move up to tertiary. I want you to move from, from, from your, your, your primary up to tertiary. I want you to go on from, from, your, from your BA to your MA and to your this and to your that. Have double doctorate. If you want to have it, move up. But do remember, knowledge must be guided by wisdom. Did you hear me? One more thing about Proverbs. Proverbs cover a range of topics, including youth, discipline, family life, self-control, and resisting temptation. And this is for you, Darren. If you did not know this, you better go back and read the book of Proverbs. You apply it, of course, in your business. That is why you could write the book as you have written the book. Because Proverbs have business matters. It guides you as far as business and the matter of business is concerned. Words and tongues, knowledge of God. It speaks, uh, guide marriage, seeking the truth, wealth and poverty, immorality, and of course, wisdom. So here we go to the book of Proverbs that guide us, that teach us or teaches us as far as these are concerned. Many of us are so busy that we never take time to consider where we are going. Amen. Amen. Can I say it again? Many of us are so busy that we don't find time to think about where we are going. We are just going. And more so, 
Why are we going in the direction that we are going? Yet, we humans are the only creature that God created with the capacity of self-reflection. Did you know that? We humans are the only creature that is created with the capacity for self-reflection. Have you been reflecting on your life? Marking your trail. Stay on solid ground. If you are going to stay on solid ground, you must every so often, ever so often, reflect on your life. Are we here still? We can think about ourselves. We can evaluate our lives and we can make changes in light of what we see. Can I say that again? We can. We have the capacity that Jehovah God has blessed us with to evaluate our lives. And to make the necessary changes as we do the evaluation. I want you to take a moment now to evaluate your life. Because there are some questions that's coming up. And I'm going to be closing the service soon. So I want you to, each person, evaluate your life. Look back. Don't go too far. Look back. In the last 10 years, in the last five years, when you do a retrospection, when you do a valuation of your life, where are you now? And where, you, where do you think you should be? And not only where you think you should be, but what is stopping you, especially in your faith, to be where you are. I want you to use these questions that will be coming to you to help to evaluate your life. Question number one, and I'm taking it from the scripture before you and before us. What is my influence on others like as a Christian? What, how am I influencing or what is my influence like on others as a Christian? The next question you need to ask, I am asking you, you need to quietly as you reflect answer. Whose life have you genuinely touched? and change for the better in recent years. Whose life have you touched and changed for the better? As a matter of fact, what kind of effort are you making to change others' life? You cannot change life until your life is changed. Do you hear what the Bible said? If any man be in Christ, is what? He is a new creature. His own life is passed away. And what is going to influence people is his new life. Huh. Let's take, for example, Jesus' own word in Matthew chapter 5. What he said. He said, let your light. Let what? So what? Before who? So that they may. 
and be led. In other words, what Jesus is saying is that a light bulb he's talking about. He's saying, let the life you live, the quality of your life, the way you live, the way you behave at work, at school, at play, wherever you are, let it, is, let it be so impacting. The influence of your life, the quality of your life in your words, thought, deeds, action, the way you behave at home. Some people behave like God in the other yard. In other words, <laughs> If heaven, if everybody were to go to heaven from church, everybody gone. Jesus trying to come when they are in the yard. More so when they are mm -hmm. Jesus said, young people, I speak to you. The conduct, your behavior, the way you bring yourself across as a child of God, it ought to make, it ought to leave an impression. Let your light shine before people. We got to take it out of the context of men here. Before people, that people will, because of the quality of your life, your friends and family and others will be led to God. You remember, young people, it's only a few people see you when you come to church and I dance. Dance, of course, you must dance. You must praise the Lord. You must lift up Jesus. Don't let anybody calm you or curve you or push you down and tell you not to do it. If the Holy Spirit get into you, get into the Spirit and dance and praise the Lord. But remember, you must, just like you dance at church, you must dance abroad. For the people who see you at church, more people are seeing you out there and listening to you than the amount of people that see your church. Let me give you one more and then influence. Young people, your motto is let no man, Lord have mercy, let no man despise. You know what despise means? To look down on. So, Paul said to young Timothy, he said, young Timothy, I am making you a bishop, a servant, a Christian. And there are all the people in the congregation that are going to see us boy and as a little girl. But he said, even when they see you as a little girl and as a little boy, you know what they call Jesus? Mary's son. Mary and Joseph boy. Carpenter son. The carpenter son. The Mary and Joseph. They did not. They did not see Jesus. In the light. That God Jehovah. Or other seed saw him. But did you know. Many of the same people. Who looked down on him. Because he was just a boy. Come from Mary and Joseph. As a matter of fact, you know what they said? Him can't talk to me now. You know why him can't talk to me? Because he never born. Enough. All right. But did you know that many of those people turn around because of Jesus' life? And Paul's life. You remember what Paul's life was like? Many people turn to Christ because of the way he conducted himself. Change life. Change people. Did you know that? 
a changed life. When people can see the difference that Jesus Christ making cussy, cussy Mary. I hope nobody know near Mary in a church becoming now nah, call you cussy, cussy Mary. I'm only making a statement. When people see how Mary love, how them are call Mary all kind of name, and Mary say, some sweet day I'm going away. I'm gonna leave this world no more to roam. Some sweet day when life Paul said to Timothy, Timothy, even though you are young and the people likely will not want to listen to you because of your age, but Timothy, I guarantee you, if your conduct, if the way you live, if the words you say, if people can trust your word, if people can take your word for it, if you can live, you're preaching, Timothy. The older people are going to listen to you. They're going to appreciate you. And they're going to come to you. Someone say it. But Timothy is going to happen. So. As we stay on the solid ground. As we are marking our trail. The question first is. How is my influence as a Christian and others? Did you know that what people want, even when they are gaming you, even when they are talking bad about you, even when they are giving you enough time to backslide, you know what, what they want? They want to see what is in you. Then, according to the scripture before us, Solomon allude to direction and purpose. If you continue to work for the next 10 years, likely as some of you are doing, and some of you hopefully will work for 10 years more or less, what you think your life will be like. Darren and I'm not going to ask you to get up and tell them. Neither will I ask you, Dale. Kimberly, I will not ask you. For you would have too much to talk about. And every person in this building would have something to talk about. Reflect. Look over your life. Mm -hmm. After 10 years living the Christian life, are you here where you start? Or have you been moving from where you start? Or are you stagnant just where you are? Did you know that 10 years ago, some people's testimony was, once I was blind, but now I can see. The light of the world. Nothing is wrong if you testify that. But that's all you can say. Ten years you have been living the Christian life. And God has been so gracious and good and kind and loving. You can't move further yet. Every person that has children. Is very concerned. Even after six months. Mr. Brown said, I can't leave the mind, right? Even after six months. I saw the baby ago. You understand? Prayer to six months. You know how much you are with? And I hope you see she sat down. Get up so. And you start laughing. You feel good. Then one day,
Come on, baby. Darren, come here, come look. Well, me only can't call him name my deal, you know, because they can't do nothing. Go look. Put up one night. Put up the next foot, baby. Put put up put up the no you're not gonna drop. You put up you're not oh, oh, come, 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 Darren! <laughs> she turned up. So, as a Christian, should you remain almost where you have started? No! I'm going to say something here. I know everybody have different personalities. Right? Um, some people are quiet. And some people work from the back better than from the front. That's normal. Right? Isn't it so? They are not so. You know, life picks you up your front self. You work better from the back and push everybody. But let me say here, let me say here, you cannot always be behind in your Christian commitment to the Lord. A time for you start lead some church service now. Ten years. Ten years. And you go tell me, say, Pastor, me, me not think me can't be, you know. Hold on. Me no see you shy. You know, two brothers said to me, as a matter of fact, one sister said to me, Pastor, if you ever ask me, me no come to church. Well, that was one. And you know what me do? With, with that one, and me, me I go after one next one. You know what me do? Me say you're going to lead service Sunday. Me give her two months. Two months. And I tell you something. Me call her every time. Me assure her of my prayer. Right, Tracy? I'm, I know you. I'm a support. And uh, it was amazing when the sister stand up here. One time we call the sister for prayer. No? The sister said, Lord Jesus, I don't know what say again. Right here, so I default it. Do you understand? But did you know? I put her right here. And it was a blessing. Leave her to lead that service. She has grown. Some of us have grown. Can't be the same way. There must be some purpose. What you say for? Huh? Young people, you know, safe to sit in a church. Young people, you don't know, safe to come to church and warm bench. Some of you, It is time that we await. We have purpose. God has saved us to do his will and to get excited and let others know about his love and mercy. Then, I soon close down. We speak about staying on the solid ground. I'm marking your trail. How are we influence others? What is our direction and purpose? Mm. Are we fulfilling that? What about honoring God? Honoring God. One person I am quoting here, and you know it's who. Joseph said, I know what you want me to do, but to do it, is to dishonor God. I ask you, young people, can you cite three things that you have done in the, in the last year that you believe have 
clearly brought glory to God. Three things that you have done in the past year that brought glory to God. Next week, Sunday is going to be testimony. I know, come, come, tell me about um, the, 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 the house and the cow and the neighbor and the this and the that and the rest. Of it. Me want to hear about that. You can talk to God about that. Me want you to say something. Me want you to know how you're honoring God. Three ways. And you don't have to talk long either. In which you honor God. Throughout the past year. I want you to name ways. You have honored him at work. You hear me? Eh? Eh? Tell me. Let the congregation know. Let the world know. If you're honoring God. How are you honoring him? At work. At home. And in your community. Can I send you to witness. To your next door neighbor. You are. A Christian. There are some people always. In a matter. E, if you are white. They will cause you to say you're black. If you're black. They will give you one next color. So it doesn't matter how you live. There are people. That will paint you. Some. But the question is, is not everybody is painting. So my question to you, which you need to reflect on, is this. As you reflect on honoring God, how is the life you live in your community? Is it saying to you that I'm honoring God? Huh, hear this one. Marking the trail. Stay on solid ground. You look at the Bible because those words are in it. Luke 20, 25 to 27. Solomon said, if you are going to stay on the solid ground, if you are going to honor God, if you are going to mark, keep the trail going. Then you have to do everything to avoid evil. Question. What one thing have you said no to in the past year in order to stay on solid ground? Let the one this walk. What temptation or testing that the devil brought to you that was very strong, like the one like come to Josie. How have you overcome? You need not to be embarrassed if you need not if you didn't overcome. You need not, you need not to feel that God has rejected you or forsake you. Lie, no, no go so. God is just not pleased about it. So what he said, if you confess, I am faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So make them go pick you up and, and bring it come. That's their business. Those that the spirit set free is what? Finally. Looking back, think about where your life was a year ago, 10 years ago, five years or before. I want you to name three specific ways in which you have grown or changed for the better in that time. Are you reflecting? I want you to name to yourself three ways in which you have grown or changed for the better in that time. Or 
have you taken a step backward? If you have taken a step backward, I have good news for you. God is not over with you yet. Did you hear me? Mankind may malign you, may look down on you. You are even afraid to go to God the much more man. For you feel that God won't for all of this forgive me. He is merciful. His mercy endureth forever. Not for time, but forever. Well, let me say here, you can bring yourself beyond the mercies of God if you continue to stay where you are. My encouragement to you young people is to mark your trail. Is to return your feet to solid ground. How am I influencing? How my life, and I stay at this one. How is my life impacting others? Paul said, as a young person, be thou an example of the believer. Jesus said, let the light of your life, the way you conduct the life, the way you behave, everywhere you are. Let it reflect, let it speak to mankind so that they may see the change that God has wrought in your life. Bow your heads, please. I want you to look, reflect for a little while as we close. Reflect for a while. I'm a Christian. I'm happy that I'm a Christian. I have challenges. I have gone through a lot. I've borne a lot as a Christian. But I can testify that God has never given me over. Neither has he ever given me up. And all of you in here are testifying and are saying the same thing. But God's concern is maybe your lifestyle would be more impacting and more influential to your brother, to your sister, to your children, to your community members, to your workmates, if you could have been displaying a different attitude. They want to see the change that Christ makes in your life. And therefore, as we pray, I'm going to ask every young person in church today, and I'm going to take an age group today, you're 40 and under, down to 12. I'm going to ask you to stand in church today. You're just 40, or you're, you, you will be 40, or you're 41 then, or 40 and some more days. <laughs> I want you to stand. We want to pray for you. It is challenging. You're living in a world where the devil, he has created things through the internet. He has provided all kinds of devices. Sometimes you're on your phone enjoying something nice. Or looking on the TV and enjoy, then you just see something creep up. And sometimes you just feel like turning it off. But the thing you, the thing that you are looking at, it is of such interest.
that it's good that there's a button or something that you can just clip off that. Men, how many times you have been watching television and even your phone and the devil said, mm -hmm. me know what me can you, you, you bring to your mind. And so what he did does, Just as she was born, as in the Eden Garden, he knows what can turn you on. He knows what can get your attention. He knows what can influence, what can impact you. But you know what Solomon said? Read it for yourself. He said, my son, stay on the straight path. In other words, keep focus. Know where you're going. Mark the trail. For broad is the road. And narrow is the way. The road that leads to destruction. But narrow is the road. Keep focus. I beg you in the name of Jesus. Some of you will be leaving us shortly. And you are like the prodigal son. Not that you're a prodigal. But you'll be going into the big cities. In other words, you're going to be more exposed. Some people backslide. Not in Westmoreland. No party no past them. No this and that no past them. Amen, pastor. Amen. God wants you to stay on the track. Mark your train. Young people, God has a good plan for your life. God is going to lift you up. God is going to make you the head. And you cannot cause yourself to remain the tail. I beg you in the name of Jesus, reverse your life negatives. Forward with the positives of your life. Stay. The trail. Stay. On solid ground. Father. I commit. And commend to you. Your precious. Group. Of young people. Each one of them acknowledge and they know that Satan always seek a way to distract them from the path of righteousness, from the path of truth, from the path of holy living. But God, I believe they are determined. They may even fail at times. They may even do what is wrong. But God, please. You never give over Peter. You never give over David. And you will not give over any of them. You still love them. And want them to turn back to you. So Lord, right now. I breathe into them life. And the life I breathe, oh God, into them is life that will keep them going. Spiritual. The life that will enhance their life so that they can stay on solid ground. I pray in the name of Jesus. 
that thou warm their heart with praise and thanksgiving. And when the devil come like a roaring lion, may they remember that there's a God who will help them to set up a standard against him. Bless, cover, cover, cover these young people. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy, I pray, I ask of you, God, that none of them will be the tail, but all of them will aspire with the support of the Heavenly Father to become the head. I pray. And I believe in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord has opened the door for some of our young people to move on from primary to secondary to tertiary. We are very proud of Burn Savannah. For Burn Savannah will always be recorded in the history or in the book of enrollment at UTech, now University of Technology, at the University, Mona, those campuses wherever they are and the main campus in Kingston. I tell you, a community colleges, high school, Burn Savannah can boast. And we are ready thanks to God for our young people. She will tell you something, then I will be calling two persons. I want her to sit and listen. Okay, so um, we have the following persons who are going to be um, resuming or entering tertiary institution. So we have Ajani Campbell um, who will be going into first year. We have Shadeni Moffat. I think she's going to third year. Duvain is going to second year. Um, Johanna is going to second year. Antoine Watson is going to first year. Jordan Mellis is fourth year. Um, Alia is going on to third year. Deandra Dixon. No, Alia will be going on to third. Yes. Um, Deandra Dixon will be going on to her second year, and Panther Philip will be going on to his fourth year as well. And we are so very proud of um, Panther. He's actually, I think, in student administration at UTEC, and I, I'm asking you to just continue looking out for the rest of them. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. And next week, we will hear some results. Amen. <laughs> but we believe that when the result hit the cleaner, by next week, it will be on a uh, um, computer, whatever it is. Yeah, you can see it. The CXC and the what? The KIP? Yeah, man. All of that will be out. So there's going to be a celebration at Burn Savannah. And we are celebrating. September 5th, and we are celebrating, oh, September 5th, yeah, and we are celebrating those who are moving on. Today, we are taking it at stride, and we are going to bless others, but we are starting to bless some today. We are going to be calling uh, Sister Morris, Sister Lynette Gehaney, to come at this time, and uh, Minister Muffet. Mr. Dehaney and Muppet to come at this time. We are doing a start. Remember, this is a start. 
So we will give consideration. We are going to be given some bursaries. And uh, those who get bursaries today, they are not the only one that will get bursaries. We did not know exactly of some persons moving on to tertiary institution. For, for you to continue or to move on to tertiary institution, you must make sure you don't fail your, your first year and so forth and your second year or whatever. So we want to know before we make the move. Some are going on continuing high school. And therefore, we would like to, we would like to say how proud we are. The Sunday School Department next week, Sunday, will be saying how appreciative they are, Sister Nepal and her team, for all Sunday School students, especially our younger ones. And uh, you others will join the others next week when we will say to you, thank you for being who you are. Their name. All right, so um, for those who we knew that was um, moving into first year or second year, bursaries are, are prepared for them, as Pastor have said. The other names that were called a while ago that we didn't either didn't know that they were moving in or so on. Um, they are not in this batch yet, but as Pastor said, the next batch, which shouldn't be too far from now, maybe next week or so, they, they, yeah, they will get in contact. So at this time, I'm going to be asking Joanna Chung to step forward and receive the bursary. Mm -hmm. Alia I am I am so happy that because of the pandemic, most of them were studying from home. Some of you didn't even know that they were in your university. It has been it has been a rough two years, but they are getting the chance to go out there now to get the exposure and what it feels like to be big men and women. Not that we that, that we're telling that they are too big to do big men and women things, but they are getting the experience. <laughs> Next time was we come to the pharmacy. Sure. You know, overcoats are served in the store. In the store, we have to run the pharmacy. Yes. Oh, All right. Sister Alea. Antoine. Indeed, I'm proud. Continue to be you. Never change. You're such a beautiful young lady. Please do not change. And you know, I love you just like I love Joanna, right? God bless you. Continue being well. Yes, man. Our songbird. I'm indeed proud of you, Antoine. Continue to live for the Lord. Continue to sing for the Lord wherever you go. And let you know who is burnt of Anna Teresa de Nazarene. Yes, the Lord. All right. So those were three from going in the tertiary at the tertiary level we have um two um secondary students that has been um been getting from the don dig um educational support fund um so at this time i'm gonna ask um where is shante is shante or if alicia wants to oh okay all right that's alicia's daughter Okay, Shante, continue doing well, right? And I see you have accepted the Lord. Continue. Bless the Lord for you. All right. Amelia, Amelia Burke. 
Is Amelia here? These are secondary school students. I mean, high school. Yes, Sister Amelia, continue to do well at Manning's, all right? And I am listening out next week to hear what you have been doing. Continue to shine. All right, so as we have said earlier, the other names are going to be compiled and then preparation will be made. Um, some of you might not be here to see the bursary is being handed out, but rest assured they are going to be taken care of, okay? All right, thank you very much, Brother Muffet and uh, Sister Lynette. And uh, I, I feel proud, you know? I mean, you have to give back. You have to sow into people's life. I want you to understand, my brother, that Joanna and you, Joanna coming up to Kingston, they must stay in the Church of the Nazarene. You hear me? You were on campus. All right. Eh, eh, what does it mean? <laughs> you know, when I used to go to Manning's, <laughs> I used to see two people, two of people who sit here, and then no said that they come, and mommy they on campus, you know. So they have to make sure, but they were good boys. And I continue to be proud of them. Good boys, right, Neil? <laughs> I want you to remember that all service will be this week. NMI will conduct service on Wednesday evening. And that is class two, rather, will conduct service on Wednesday evening Bible study and prayer meeting. NYI will be 6 p.m. on Friday. Yeah, see, Friday evening. Please remember that. Baptismal service. And it's going to be testimony service on Sunday. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah, we're going to baptize people. Amen. Jesus said, when they accept him, baptize them and continue to teach them the way of the Lord. Then, registration ongoing for September 2022 church year, uh, school year 2022-23. Complete forms are to be returned to Burns of NAS Technology and Skill Training Center and even Institute. Courses offer English A, Maths, Social Study, Human and Social Biology, Information Technology, EDPM, I don't even know what name so. Ent, I don't call the word there because I might miss it. Cake baking, decorating, customer service, electrical installation, me I go at that the class. Please return forms. If you don't return forms, you will not be a part of the program. So, if you know anybody interested, come quick and return. We have the best teachers. Right, Tracy Ann? They say we have the best teachers. Maxine, you are here? Maxine, you there? So we're going to ask you, please, make sure that you register for the class. TDPC Co. TDP Co. Tourist something another. In partnership, invite you to sign up for team training level one. A six days training course. First batch begin August. Uh, September rather. Registra register via the Google link provided. If you don't know Google link, ask somebody. Limited space available. First 20 person to sign. Only two persons left. Only two spaces left. 
Do you want to be considered for the tourist mm -hmm. industry? Do you want to have a certificate? When them say, why you have to show? You just pull out this and say, see there. You are qualified. Well, we are offering it. Thank God. Thank God for everybody. Thank God for everybody. Thank God for everybody. Burn Savannah, believe in education. Burn Savannah, believe people should be trained, educated, and live in this life before they live in another life. And therefore, we are prepared to back you. So come Sunday morning. We are extending the bursary. And we are making sure that we do our homework. Birthday, thanks to those who were born up to the 14. Shadeen Moffat. Born the 14th, right? Today. And uh, Adolphus McKay. You born the 14 to happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Shadeni was born on April on August 14, her father and her mother miss her birthday. Our Ashi Almina Williams will be this week, and uh, Alia McFarlane will be Lickamore. Congratulations. Almina is shut in. NMI and all of us remember that. All right. It was wonderful having us. And anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Campbell, August 16. Anybody know them? Let me call them name wrong, man. Make not make so, me see if somebody else say, Yes, me know them. <laughs> That's why when you go a court, you know, you, need, you have to call the man name right. 25 years behind us. Byron and Deidre. They don't come to church. Deidre don't come to church today, right? No, man. They go in a hotel. <laughs> Praise God. Uh-huh. All right, sister Deidre. Enjoy you know, I like to go to a hotel with Dale, but I prefer to go with Devin. You know why? Because when we said Devin, I'm a tough man, cool down. He said that he knows me pay for it. <laughs> so, it, you see, if you can't eat, no go to a hotel, I waste your, waste your money. You understand? Turn the yard. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. We want to thank you all for making it to church today. We want to thank you all for the support that you have always given. We're asking you, we're going to be announcing when we are going to have our faith promise. And the men will announce next week when they're going to have their men in mission praise. God be with you and bless you. May I have the praise team? Come back here. Come back here. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, have mercy. I go home. We are go home now, brethren. So give me him the... Stand up on your foot. Stand up on your foot. Anybody know it? Huh? Come. Stand up on your foot. Sister Pam, stand up on your foot. Turn 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 up on your foot. That is not the song. Sing a song, Bertrand. First verse that. Hallelujah. Amen. 
a little more oil in my lamp, keep it burning. A little more oil in my lamp, I pray. A little more oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Keep it burning to the break of day. Just a little more oil in my lamp, I pray. A little more oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Keep it burning to the break of day. Oh, give me, 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 Jesus give me oil, Jesus give me oil, Jesus give me oil, Jesus give me oil, Jesus. I just want the oil, God. 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 I just want the oil. I just want the oil. I just want the oil. Remember, remember, men in praise at at Ricketts River Holiness. So the men, the men are engaged for men in praise at Ricketts River Holiness. And I believe there's going to be a rally in.